That's right. Tonight we're going back into the world of George R. 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 Martin and Game of Thrones. <laughs> So they just dropped the teaser trailer for House of the Dragon on HBO Max to give you a little little tease, a little taste, a little tasty taste. So we're going to take a look at that and then we're going to give you a little bit of context around the House of the Dragon. Now myself, I am a, I guess, sort of a George R. R. Martin fan. I'm definitely a Game of Thrones book fan and I do love the show up until the sixth season or the fifth season when it when they ran out of book material and they started going off on their own and it just turned into a garbage pile and Ben Hoff and Weiss the showrunners proved to the world that they have no idea what they're doing and ruined probably the greatest show ever made and and made everybody in the world extraordinarily unhappy with them well, they've been kicked to the curb, and now they're doing a new show called House of the Dragon. And uh, we'll go a little bit through the trailer, see if we can take a little sneak peek at anything that looks interesting. And then I'll give you a little bit of background. I will not spoil it for you because this is based on another George R. R. Martin book called Fire and Blood that explores the Targa House of Targaryen. It takes place 200 years before Game of Thrones. So you won't recognize any of the people. We may recognize some of the places, but probably none of the people or at least maybe their names in passing. Like, oh, that's the great, great, great grandfather of somebody. So let's look at some of it. Got that nice fiery uh, HBO logo because they're going through probably the basement of the Red Keep would be my guess because that's where the dragons were stored. If you recall from one of the early seasons, Looks like uh, a couple of people are waiting. I don't know what that means. I'm sure it's some crest of some kind. Don't know whose crest. There's the the, ha the House of the Dragon crest and the sword. And then there's the game. Or there's the Iron Throne behind them. Let's see. So that's clearly one of the Targaryens. It's probably not Rhaegar. But uh, if you follow the books, they mention the great grandfather. But I, I don't think it's him. It's probably before him. This is probably the civil war that unifies the uh, the seven kingdoms under the Targaryen rule. Uh, I don't know who that is or the actress, but more blonde people who are supposed to be Targaryens, I'm sure. Some body, some dude, some lady, some more people. Don't know. I guess they all serve the Targaryens. No idea. Oh, there was one cool scene that I thought was kind of interesting. Hold on. We'll get to it. Angry lady going to stab somebody. Uh, let's see here. Oh, yeah. There's like uh, jousting. That's kind of cool, right? We like jousting. Jousting's all right. This is not giving us a lot to go off of. It's, <laughs> you're just like, oh, this looks vaguely familiar. They recycled the sets. So I'm excited about that. Uh, let's see here. Yep. There's the throne. That looks kind of cool. There's their logo, the dragon with the three heads. And yep, that's about all we get. That's all she wrote there, folks. I want to find that one. I thought they actually showed you them doing jousting, maybe. Oh, yeah, you can kind of see the lances right there about to hit. So, yeah, there you go. Look at that. You got some jousting. Uh, that logo that or that that looks familiar. I can't remember which house that might be, but it looks kind of familiar. So, what I wanted to give to you guys here today, besides just going through the teaser, just seeing what there is, is I thought this would be amusing for us to go over. So, and I'm not going to give you the plot of Fire and Blood, but Fire and Blood is one of those books. I think it was written in two or was released in 2018. And he uh, he pulled he pulled two hundred thousand words from the world of ice and fire and put them in this. So this is a little crazy, but um, it's because the man can't finish a book. I mean, Dances with Dragons, like it's it's ridiculous. The, 
We're still waiting on the wind to winter, which was supposed to be done two years ago. And he said he would lock himself in a gulag until he had it finished. And he did no, none of those things. So I just want to read the reception of this. So, so you get an idea. You got to remember, HBO already scrapped one prequel. They filmed an entire pilot supposedly cost two hundred thousand dollars with naomi watts i think was supposed to be the star and they thought it was so bad that they canned it and these are the 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 reviews for fire and blood which will be the source material <laughs> are, are mixed at best so uh this guy from the times described it as interminable self-indulgent crap uh the independent said that the book feels like you've been assigned a mildly interesting but often tedious piece of homework Publishers Weekly stated that Martin's evocative storytelling and gift for gripping narrative are mostly absent from this dry history. Uh, some people said they liked it, but the one guy, and this is kind of damning, is like, this is the best book of the Song and Ice Fire books in 18 years. He's talking about the best books in Storm of Swords, which is clearly, I, I think, the best book. It's going to be 10 episodes it's produced by martin a bunch of other people i don't know this is <laughs> good luck folks i mean the, the fascinating thing is where are ben Hoff and weiss these dudes dropped off the face of the earth they they you know are the showrunners for the biggest show on earth give us the worst finale that anyone's ever seen supposedly signing he first they're going to direct the star wars trilogy nah that's all oh, it's gone goodbye then they're going to sign a huge deal with netflix i haven't seen a single thing come out from them is the jig is the jig is up on these guys right but as far as this show looks i mean i'm sure if you're a game of thrones fans you'll have some of it you'll like you'll probably get a kick out of it i'm sure it's gonna be very violent lots of sex lots of nudity every single chick that we saw will probably get naked at some point so there's there's that because you know tv's missing that right now <laughs> so anyway um i don't know what to think it was a tease a little tease to taste just for the taste and I, I'm not so, like, I'm not fired up. I'm like, okay, you showed us a couple of stills from, like, Game of Thrones. It's all right. And the cast, I don't even know that the cast looks this big. So, and that was one of the one of the draws. So, anyway, uh, this is your man Z from Our Reviews Will Kill You. Be sure to catch our full-length audio podcast anywhere you can get audio podcasts. Uh, be sure to visit the site page there because we have links to all of our articles that we cover in all of our audio podcasts and as well we do a live stream which you could catch friday night 7 30 eastern standard time that's p.m here on the east coast and um if you want to talk to us give us a shout but for now i'm on to the next one <laughs>